This was part of the 13th district represented by Congressman Ted Budd. But thanks to redistricting, voters now have to find themselves a new representative. The process begins with the primary. Four Republicans filed a run in the 9th Congressional District, which includes Randolph County. The candidates are Mike Andriani, a former soldier, making his first bid for political office. Francisco Rios, also a veteran, making his first run for office. Jen Bricardo, a businesswoman who ran for Congress two years ago as an independent candidate. And Richard Hudson, a four-term congressman drawn out of his district by mapmakers again. What is your reaction to the North Carolina legislature that keeps moving your district? Well, it's, you know, it's not, I have no control over it. So, you know, I don't waste a lot of time worrying about things I can't do anything about. Hudson says he plans to move into the new district this summer. His current home is in the 12th district, which is considered a safe seat for Democrats. His incumbency hasn't scared away the competition in his new district. There is an incumbent in this race. Is right. there something that he has done or not done that you would change? You would do something different? Uh, yes. Yeah, so um, the incumbent actually voted a month ago. He voted on a 2,741-page, uh, uh, it's a $1.5 trillion omnibus spending package that was filled with uh, Mr. Biden's policy priorities. And um, it also doubled down on, on green New Deal style government subsidies for uh, green energy and climate policies. And personally, if I was in his position, I would have voted against that. The spending bill to keep the government running is the only time Hudson didn't vote with the conservative group Heritage Action for America, a group that gives him a 93% score for his current session of Congress. Can you tell me why you voted for it? You know, I didn't like everything in it, and that's that's what happens when you have these big, ugly bills. But um, at the end of the day, there was enough in there that was really crucial to our men and women in uniform. Is there something that the incumbent has done or not done that you want to replace him? Well, uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think he has done much. He has done a few things, uh, but this is one of the things that uh, I go back to why I want term limits. Uh, uh, is that uh, you only do just what you need to do in order to uh, uh, show that you have done something, but nothing of uh, significance. Francisco Rigo says he favors term limits for members of Congress. Are there any issues, though, where you think you separate from the, the PAC? From the PAC? Well, see, my priority, like I said, is health education and it's children. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that all legislations that, um, that I have to vote on are seen through the lens of how is this going to affect children in the future and families? There is some effort in the Congress to legalize marijuana in this country. And mm -hmm. I'm wondering what your thoughts are on that. Uh, I do believe we should uh, go ahead and legalize it in order to get taxes that way for the states. That would be a great way to increase taxes and, and fund our education and our public health systems. Congress recently passed marijuana, legalizing it for the country. And I'm wondering how you would vote on something like that. It's quite honestly, I'm glad that I didn't actually have to vote on that because it's hard. I'm kind of 50 50. Would you vote for it or against it or would you not vote? I think I would just abstain. Or would you vote to legalize marijuana? If my constituents would, would say uh, to vote for it, I, I would, but uh, personally, uh, I, I would, I wouldn't vote for it. To be clear, you would not, you personally would not vote for it. I personally it. would not, but, but if my constituents would say, yeah, go ahead and vote for it, I would. There is growing uh, support in recent polls for legalizing marijuana. I believe you voted against that recent bill. Can you tell us why? I'm opposed to legalizing, um, you know, if you look in history um, and when the government uh, makes something legal, more people will do it. The winner of this GOP primary takes on Democrat Ben Clark next fall. Clark currently serves in the North Carolina Senate. Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.